Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Doc Ock in the basic and Spider-Man Supreme, a new champion in the featured. Now, I went for the five star. So round two, already done. If you didn't get him this time, you're going to have to look for him in the crystals. Uh, but I went for the five star. And guys, I don't know if I have them big grinds in me because this one was wearing me out. Now, uh, it might also be that I had a lot of stuff going on uh, in my real life as well, tiring me out. Uh, and I started playing another game. And so I'm trying to juggle those two things. And yeah, still try to make content for you guys. So it was a little bit much. All right, let's take a look at the arena. All right, so I got 262, and uh, you'll see what I put up when we get over there. Doc Ock, I got 11 to 30%. Okay. And uh, I did not get Summoner Trials done. Now, you may notice that I started with Summoner Trials this time. See this? Nothing in the others. I'm starting with Summoner Trials because my five and six stars weren't even off cooldown. My six stars still are not, because I was grinding right up into the time. I fell asleep, and then I had to try to play catch up because I wasn't sure, but you'll, you'll see the score I put up. All right, let's go in here for Doc Ock. I put up my usual five mil here, and I do have the um, cutoffs for uh, Spider-Man Supreme. All right, let's... Uh... See ya, guapo! Shut up. Man, so uh, while we're doing this, I'll, I'll give you a little story about this other game. It's called, um, uh, that, that's the game right there. Uh, that's the only notifications you usually see uh, popping up. It's uh, called Lord's Mobile. And uh, it, it's fun. It's fun, but... Let me tell you, um, it's a nice change of pace, but it is a war game. And one slip up can get you wrecked. But fortunately, they have ways that you don't have to. It's almost like in some games you have like a save game. So it's really rough. But if you saved your game, you'll lose everything up to that point, right? Um, I played games like that. And, um, but if you forget, it'll roll back to the last one, you know? So it's on you to remember. Well, we were having an event last night, and, and it's an event that lasts for about an hour. The problem is their, their events start at 1 a.m. my time. So either I'm going to stay up or set my alarm if I want to participate. Well, I wasn't planning to participate in this one all right um all right so that's it i didn't see anybody <laughs> an angry lasagna really um i didn't see anybody that i recognized but if i missed your name leave a comment i am really tired so it's very likely that you know i saw the name and it just did not register all right let's see who is mr or mrs 101 oh well i can't read that name but i am Sorry for you. My condolences. Oh, I can't read that name either. All right. Free sophist. All right. Um, but anyway, so I wasn't planning to participate. And so I was grinding out the arena late because I had gotten off schedule. And so I'm like half sleep trying to stay up and in this game you can use an item called a shield to protect yourself there's also something you can do which is even if you're not shielded you can shelter a certain number of your troops okay and basically i sheltered way too early because you only have a certain amount of time, and then they come out automatically. And I didn't reshield. I fell asleep. So 
the result was during this event, which is a war event, and it's the worst time for you not to be shielded if you're not going to participate because they're going to come over after the event is over and attack everybody that's not shielded. I fell asleep, did not, my shield ran out while I was asleep and I was not sheltered. Oh my goodness. Now, what was fun, because I can look back and see the attacks on me. Uh, the first person that attacked me lost. I beat him out, okay? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I see you down there. Um, I beat him. Then the there was a, a this guy is a monster. Okay, he's like the second most powerful on the entire in the entire kingdom. He came over and whooped my butt repeatedly and took out all of my troops. Now, what was funny is before he was done, that same guy attacked me again and lost again. So the other guy came and basically whooped me up so that he could just come and, and do whatever. So I woke up and I was like, because that was rough, right? Um, it's a, a term they call zeroing, meaning they took out all your troops. When you go to see how many troops you have, it says zero, okay? But it's not as bad as it sounds. There are um, buildings called infirmaries, infirmaries, and the more you have in the higher level, your troops go there first. So they get hurt, okay? So they go there first, so you don't lose them permanently. Then there's um, a sanctuary where a bunch more will go and you're allowed to resurrect them. They give you like these little divine task things they have, you know, things like send help to your guildmate or gather a certain amount of um, resources. And you can then resurrect a bunch of them. Well, I probably lost permanently only um, about 100 to 200,000 of my low level troops. Okay, so that was that it could have been much worse because if I hadn't built all those infirmaries, I would have lost a lot more. Um, so, all right, let's go in here. Now, I said that I do have the cutoff information and I have uh, the one on one information too. All right, so Oak Spider killing it. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I don't even want to imagine. So anyway, that, that game is fun, okay? Even when I got whooped up like that and I got zero, I had over a million, uh, well, I had one, a little over a million troops. A lot of them were low level because I just used them to farm resources. Uh, one Doc Holiday up there. Let's see if we see little Doc Holiday over there. And uh, I was able to recover and heal almost all of them. And that I was like, oh, man, I thought I was I, I was like, what what am I going to do? Uh, Messiah, congratulations. And then I saw something over to the side because um, the higher level troops take a lot to heal. They take a lot of resources. And when you get hit like that, you only have a certain number of resources that you keep. And they take all that's over. Well, I had just been gathering up for almost a week a lot of resources so that I could build more troops. So this happened at the worst time. I mean, it hit me, you know, hard because I had to use those. Now, um, what was left to try to heal up. But I saw a little button flashing at the um, left, right? And I was like, what is that? And I clicked on it and I had resources in there and it was almost all the resources I needed to heal my guys. I was like, what is this? So I had to look that up because I'm still new to the game. And basically it's, um, first of all, it's a talent that you can increase the amount, but when you have troops that die defending the turf, you get a certain percentage of what it would cost to heal them. 
I was like, okay, they didn't want people to just quit. That's what it was. So that happened this morning, right? And right now, just hours, you know, was it 12? About 18 hours later, I guess, all my guys are, are back in action. So I went from zeroed to everybody back in action, but I lost all of those resources that I was saving to try to build more. And they took my leader. So that basically slows me down a little bit. Um, but not that much. My leader, if he releases it, I can have him back quickly. If he doesn't, I'll get it in a couple of days. Okay, so guess who? Let me uh, pop up the uh, message. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is the cutoff. 262 million for guess who. Now, here's another that I got. 101. Look at that. 261 million. And he missed. That is insane. That is crazy. It's why I do not recommend going for this thing. 261 and missed. No, thank you. I'm good. All right. But my condolences, uh, Sir Quixote. I am so sorry to see that, man. That is crazy. And I can only imagine that these guys put up something like that. Ooh, time to shine. No. 107, no time to shine. What did you put up, man? I can only imagine. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not for this arena. No, sir. There's little Doc Holiday. And see, I know these guys put up a crazy amount. I'm just happy that the uh five star cutoff seems to have remain relatively the same i haven't been a, i haven't needed to put up a crazy amount more than i normally would and this score that you see there only my six stars i did not use my five stars at all just my six stars so um i would say that that was let me think it takes me about two hours to go through my six stars so We've got Monday, two hours, Tuesday and Wednesday, so that's four hours, so that's six hours. I mean, not Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday, so that's six hours, Wednesday, 10 hours, and then this morning, I think I, like I said, I fell asleep, so it, a little bit was mixed. But it looks like I spent about 12 hours total um, in this arena over three days. But man, I just, I, I, Scorpion right now is in the arena in the basic. I'm not going for him in the arena. Uh, if I can get him in the crystal, great. If I can't, we'll just have to wait. All right. I skipped lunch because I fell asleep, uh, but I will not skip dinner. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or the story of another game, not even Marvel Constance Champions, uh, uh, leave a like, comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, about the cutoffs. What do you think about this featured um, arena and all of those scores? That is just insane. 261 million and missed? I'd, I'd be ready to quit. I'm serious. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.